UFS, which stands for Unix File System, was developed by the Computer Systems Research Group and was initially released in 1983 on Unix 4.2 BSD. The file system supports names of up to 255 characters and can support up to 8 ZB or zettabytes of storage. On FreeBSD UFS it's been upgraded over time and is now known as UFS2, which is the first of two native file systems for FreeBSD, the other of course being ZFS. The five key features of UFS are soft updates, soft updates with journaling, snapshots, trim support natively and fragments and blocks. Soft updates maintain the file system integrity in the event of a power failure or system crash and they are enabled by default in FreeBSD but they can be toggled on and off anytime using the TuneFS option. Soft updates ensure consistency in the file system but this doesn't mean that no data may be lost. For that you need to make snapshots. More about that in a few minutes. Soft updates with journaling provides the same functionality of soft updates but with the added background file system check garbage collection in the aftermath of a crash. Like vanilla soft updates this does not stop possible data loss but like soft updates provides immediate mounting of a crash drive with no log replay. It isn't just ZFS that can make snapshots. UFS has been able to do it for years and although it may not be as easy or convenient it can be done. Firstly, if you are using soft updates and journaling, you need to turn them off. You need to boot into single user mode and issue the command you see on screen, which will disable the journaling, but only on unmounted, not in use drives and partitions. Using the make snap underscore FFS command that you can see highlighted on screen, will take a snapshot of the var directory and will create a copy in the snapshot subdirectory. The snapshot can be stored and used at a later time. To mount the save snapshot, use the command that you can see, and the snapshot created earlier will now be mounted in the forward slash mount directory. To unmount the snapshot, use unmount mount and md config with the du and for switches. If you don't like the make snap underscore ffs way of doing it, then you can use the one you see on screen, which is a bit more long winded but will produce the same results. You can enable trim on FreeBSD when you're installing your system. And to check if your SSD drive has trim enabled, issue the command you see on screen. If not, you can add to an already installed FreeBSD system by booting into single user mode, then mount, then issue the TuneFS command you see on screen. And then most importantly, don't reboot using the normal reboot command or halt. You've got to type shut down R now. As files are created and expanded, they are allocated disk space in either full logical blocks or portions, or portions of logical blocks called fragments. When disk space is needed for a file, full blocks are allocated first, and then one or more fragments of a block are allocated for the remainder. For small files, allocation begins with fragments. The ability to allocate fragments of blocks to files rather than just whole blocks saves space by reducing fragmentation of disk space that results from unused holes in blocks. Files less than a block size, usually 32 kilobytes, on recent FreeBSD versions, can be stored in individual fragments of 4 kilobytes on those systems. These sizes are configurable at file system creation, but it's perfectly okay to create a file system which is optimized for storing files less than 1 kilobyte in size, while having a decent block size of 8 kilobytes. UFS and ZFS can coexist together. There's a need for them both and a use for them both. And it really shouldn't come down to one or the other. But I have a certain liking for UFS. It was the first file system I used when I first installed FreeBSD. And although I have used ZFS once or twice on the desktop when I've installed TrueOS or TrueOS, I've often found that ZFS can be a little bit sluggish, but not, mar not markedly as to uh, spoil a desktop experience. But it is noticeable sometimes. UFS on the other hand, I've never noticed any slowdown. I recommend you give both a try. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and comments down below. And if you want to keep up with more videos like this, oh, although why would you, then please consider subscribing. Thanks.